didn't see any of this, but I thought it wasn't necessary for tonight. I didn't figure that out. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> yeah. Seven o'clock, this Gardner Electric Advisory Board meeting is called to order. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item on the agenda is the consent agenda. We have one item, standing approval of the minutes from last meeting. Any discussion? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion. I move that we approve last time, or April 3rd agenda as, as recorded. Second. There's been a first and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? No. Aye. 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 That passes. New business. First item is personnel. Mary, please come up and explain to us what's going on. Good evening. How are you Hi. all? Good. Um, you know, when we were here at the last meeting, you all had several questions about um, how we would staff and manage day-to-day -day operations at the electric um, department with staff turnover. Uh, as you met just a few minutes ago, Dave Green. Um, Dave Green is uh, um, uh, agreed to come and work with us. He is a consultant that will come and be at Gardner Electric to provide day-to-day -day, um, advice, technical expertise, oversight of the division. Um, for many of you, you probably already know this, but um, Dave has worked for the city of Gardner for over 11 years as the public works director. He retired about a year ago. Um, and when we contacted him, he willingly um, came back to work with the great people like Bruce and Dave and all the others that are out there. Um, we're very excited that Dave um, is here. Gardner Electric is not new to Dave. He managed that department for many years. Um, and actually, when I think he started at, at um, the city of Gardner, he was actually his office was out there, so he's even familiar with the facility. <laughs> so um, he's here. Um, I'm glad that he got to meet you all prior to the meeting. Um, I can turn it over to Dave if he has anything that he'd like to say. Sure. If you don't mind, I just speak from here. Uh, Mary said I did have the electric department when I first started. Uh, my uh, some people will say, well, what's a civil engineer doing in the electric department? Well, my crash course in electric distribution was the ice storm of 2002. Uh, Bruce and Dave were both in on that. I think there was all of 70 of you guys at most uh, trying to deal with 80% of the city in the dark. And uh, uh, With KMEA's help, uh, we had just started getting the process to get mutual aid, so we were on our own for about four days and then the crew showed up. But I think we had, what was it, half the city up by Monday and we had the rest of the city up probably within a week. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, it was quite an experience, especially for someone who was used to uh, road work. Uh, I learned quite a bit about triage, and uh, I think one of the most telling events of it was about four in the morning on the first night. Uh, crew was in the, re the show up room trying to figure out what to do, and I think someone came up with the idea, well, if we throw this one switch, we can get half the town back up, and we'll go from there. And uh, it was... Uh, it was, a very, it was a very good experience. We had a pretty intense two weeks. But, uh, I uh, look forward to working with you all over the next several months. Uh, I'm happy to be back. I enjoyed my time with uh, the crew at the electric department, and I, I'll look forward to working with them again. Glad to have you. Yeah. Thank you very much. 
kind of the second component of that, I'll, I'll share with you one of the other um, questions was, um, who is the point person for the board? How, how will you all send your questions and various things? And since Dave is a consultant working with us, your point person will be um, the city administrator, Cheryl Harrison Lee. I'm so sorry that she couldn't be here tonight, but, but she'll reach out to, to you. Um, but for your point person, you were kind of like, who, who do we work with? That would that would be Cheryl during this interim time. And then Dave working with our, our staff and the operations. So I hope that kind of... Uh, um, answer some of the questions that you all had last time and we're really happy to be able to report that you know we they've just started this morning um, he and I met with the staff we had a great meeting um, he wasn't able to be here yesterday but Brian Faust and I met with um, director Krawcheck and went through a handoff of projects updates personnel all a very very nice handoff everything went very smooth um, uh, Brian has met with Dave this afternoon and um, you know, given the handoff of projects, and I think Dave's already been meeting with um, many of the staff to determine where we are and going. So, um, as we said this morning, the goal is to continue to uh, provide and continue the excellent service that this department and the people that work in it and the staff has provided to our citizens. And with the knowledge that Dave has, we should just be able to keep rolling and, and business as usual, and, and that's our goal. So, Great. any questions that I can help with or? Uh, that answered the questions from last meeting. Uh -huh. I've got some new questions, but does anybody have any questions regarding what Mary's already gone over? Do you want to hold a new question for other business, or do you want well, to address those now? Mary, are you staying for the whole meeting? Uh, yeah, I can do either. Okay, whatever do you'd like to do. Let's do it another business. Okay. Business. Sounds great. Business, uh, new business item number two discuss the year to date budget through the end of March. Um, I assume Dave probably hasn't had time to look at this much. I'm sorry to say I really am not prepared to address that's, that's fine. Um, we're pretty familiar with it, and from what I've seen of it, we're on track mm -hmm. uh, for year to date. Uh, according to projections in the budget, uh, things are looking well. Is there any particular questions that anybody on the board has? I had one just um, for Bruce. Do we have any large ticket items coming up in the next, you know, one to three months with summer coming and, you know, the need for electricity would be obvious that we need to get to council for consideration, i.e. purchases, et cetera? Uh, we're getting ready to do that uh, project in between Warren and uh, Park Street, that three phase we're building all the way down, and we're going to loop it back in. And just speed right back behind us over here. That way we can have a 200 amp loop too. We're gonna to try to loop that around okay. to get that goal. So we're gonna be working on that. I got a few small little back feeds I'm gonna do like on Lincoln Lane for all the businesses over there. We never have finished that 200 amp back feed underground. So I'm gonna tie that together so we can have back feed for that in case something happens. Are there any purchases though that we need to uh, make to support you on that and if so based on where they fall we need to get that to council or run that yeah. through Cheryl and David or yeah I think we're sitting pretty good on okay. stuff right now on that but there's some other stuff we're going to bring up later on that'll be a little bit bigger another tie okay. out by the intermodal I want to get with somebody on that and see if we can get that project going because I'm going to need some is that a tie to it's going to be 183rd from just being a radio it's going to be a tie from we're going to tie in 42 clear back around we can tie in 41 in case one of our undergrounds feel bad because we got like two places two places where it goes underground just right out there off 183rd it goes through that field then it goes underground underneath the transmission line then it goes overhead and it crosses 35 and gets the lift station nike school and all that so I'd like to get another speed going back around there in case one of them undergrounds goes bad or something like that. We can, and we already got it built clear up to the other transmission line on Waverly. So we just got like maybe, uh, probably a little over a quarter mile of red line we got to do in, in a couple dips and that back feed be ready to go. Okay. Perfect. So I'd like to work on that. I'm, I'm curious <clears throat> on the, uh, I don't know, several weeks ago I was talking to Brandon and he pointed out a meter test unit that was in need of repair. Is that has that been addressed? Have that been taken uh, care of? That I don't know anything about. 
Okay. So I can find out though. Because uh, he, he was worried because it was a pretty expensive piece of equipment. So that kind of goes along with, with okay. what Randy was asking. I can check on it then. I'm Lee. I don't know for sure on this. Dave will probably be able to look into this for us. But I'm pretty sure that that was kind of put on the back burner because we lost our meter tester. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to get Bill Andrew back part time. Okay. No. I I do know that the meter tester was sent off and repaired and is now going to be stationed at the building instead of being in the van out where because that was part of the calibration issue. Um, but as far as getting another tester to be in the van, I don't know if that's what you guys are talking about or, or the one that was existing that needed to be repaired. It was the one that was existing that right. needed to be repaired. He'd, he'd mentioned that it was in the van and that was part of the problem. I think that one was sent off and been repaired. Okay. Yeah. Nobody answered the question. The biggest concern is this primary meter. That's the biggest critical part. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many primary installations are in the gardener. I didn't look. Yep. Dave, to add some questions for you. Sure. Um, one of them would be, where are we at with the agreement? Um, I think his name, the with William Fish. With Bill Fish to be able to work on the generators. I'm researching that now. I've got several contracts I'm going through trying to get those caught up to get him because yeah, as I think as they addressed, uh, Mr. Fish is probably the only person that knows anything about that kind of a one-off system of the generators. Right. But I'm researching it, and also I knew you had some questions about the